Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, part three. Oh, god darn it, this is the hardest, okay. Okay, now bump into this person, because then you get some free stuff. You will get some free stuff. You will lose some rupees, but make sure you go in. So yeah, we just got some extra rupees, I think. I think. It was too vast. But, I guess now that we have this power bracelet, now we can get a certain heart piece, which we didn't get, and also we should first do this. And here, the headstone. That block that goes from going anywhere. So we just saved him, and now we can go. So opening this tombstone won't make you into his house. So now we can move on to the afterworld. And now he's happy. And since he doesn't need he since he's moving on to the afterlife, then we can get a clock. So we got the poo clock, hurrah. It lightens a heart question mark. So with that out of the way, it's time to get another heart piece. Now this hard piece is actually found. That place will be more important later. As I said before. But the heart next hard piece is where we found it before. What you found the hard piece which we couldn't get to last time. And also by the way, you can plant gasher seeds here. This is where I usually plant gasher seed. Let's see if I have any more. Nope, I don't. I have two rings that praise actually. In addition. So yeah, we got another piece of heart. That's three out of four. Right here, there's nothing... I think there's something here, but... I meh, I don't really care about this place. And the Gasha Seed will actually grow after you beat the next dungeon. I believe that's how it works. Either after you beat the dungeon... Yeah, I believe it's just after you beat the next dungeon. Or if you already beat the game, then after you beat the final boss, I think. I think. Because I haven't beat this game yet. I actually got into the 7th dungeon and then uh, I ended up restoring my save accidentally. So yeah, it's time to go and get... No, we can't go here either. No, Aaron, you cannot go here. We're supposed to be going over here. Around. So now, one thing which we're supposed to do now, is now, since the next essence is actually in the forest, we should go to the forest. Why not? Okay, so yeah, the forest is pretty much like around here, actually. Like around here. And there goes the phone again! I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. And so... Back to going to the forest. Actually, right here is the know-it-all bird site. I never, no I never showed you around town, but over there you should go if you don't know how to play the game or anything like that. And so we can actually go here now. We can kill this guy, but we actually can't go up to um, Symmetry City yet. So we should go back here to the forest. Into the forest. This place is rather ridiculous. The game's a troll. And you'll see why later. And right there is where we exactly need to go. But these fairies have messed up the entire environment, so we can't get there. Yeah, we have to play hide and seek now. One's hiding over there. One hides over there. And one hides over there. Rather simple, right? But the problem is that the forest gets messed up after doing this. Watch where I'm on the map. And now watch where I'm now. That's not logical. 
So pretty much you end up going to different places when we on the map. Also, you can go... Yeah, I just ended up teleporting over here. So yeah, um, this is this is actually rather easy since it's always in the same place. But unless you know exactly how to get to anywhere, then you will be stuck. And so we beat one. That treasure chest we can't get right now, we'll get it later. And this literally loops on. And this place also loops on. Oh god, I already forgot where the fairy is. Let's see, that's one. Oh yeah, so one is... Uh, I believe I'm supposed to go down from here. No, up. No, down. And then all around. Oh, there we go. This is another fairy hiding spot. There goes one, another one. Another last one, which is the hardest, supposedly. Well, keeping on going around. Let's go and mess up with stuff, and then you'll eventually find the area. There we go. Yeah, so pretty much we get back to the center area in the past, and now the forest is back in order. So we can go and explore the entire forest, and we can go and get our get to the next dungeon. Yay! Where's that exact place? Well, not there, but we need to go over here now. And now it says, Bueller crumbles easily. Oh, okay, so why not? Let's go here. Oh, that rock must have been the support. Oops. Well, that's a problem. We can't get to the next dungeon now. Darn it. And so the Maku tree helps us out. Rock last was a board stone that held up the cave. The veterinarian can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in her neighbor's house that can help. Why don't you go and look? Okay, let's go and look. This way is a shortcut back. Yeah, and I guess we can go here if you want Denny's and whatnot. Let's see. So we're going all the way back here. If you go all the way back in town, back to where we found Nehru was singing, where she was singing. And we get to find something. I guess we should go and appraise our rings for right now. This is the power link, ring level one. Yay, and that's, here's the discovery ring. This thing's actually really nice, but... Yeah, the best thing to get right now is the discovery ring. They'll tell you we're going to plant gra gasha seeds, but I don't really care about that for right now. Just for right now. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to do something different. Equip the power ring. This is actually a ring which I had never equipped that much. It makes your sword damage go up the roof, but it also makes your damage go up the roof. So pretty much you're playing in hard mode now. You take double damage, and you do double damage. So it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. The best the best time to use this is maybe I guess maybe during boss fights. It will be real easy during boss fights. If you use this thing, but then you'll die horribly easily. It will fall victim to death. A lot, but meh. This is a little this is pretty much the game's hard mode if you want. To end up finding this ring. Or if you cheat it in. But okay, so here. I wonder if there's a hidden room here. Um, I guess so. Oh, what is this? It's the Harp of Ages! Hurrah. And so, Nero says, you are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. I do not know you, but it's not by chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time. Your arrival means I'm not in this age anymore. I hid the harp here knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you, by playing certain tunes on the harp of ages, you can travel through time. Let me do the tune of echoes. This is an Ocarina of Time, though, so you don't have to play them yourselves. It just simply plays it by itself. So yeah, all those marking on the ground are time portals, and they'll literally teleport us to anywhere we feel like it. It depends on, actually... It 
it gets you into a place like any place in the past. So it's an easy way to get from the past to present. Well, you can only use it through time portals. We'll get better tunes later. But this is the best we got so far. So it's time to go and do this. And the Mako Tweet bosses bothers us again. Yay, we got the Harp of Ages. We can now go and sail through time. So now the the second dungeon might be actually here in the um, in the pat present. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly what we want to do right now. We're much just going and playing the Harp of Ages. We'll cause you to open a time portal. Go on the time portal, and you'll start teleporting. So now we're in the same place in the past. Wrong. Can't actually get here anymore yet. We'll get an item later on, which will let us do that. But the first order of our business to do here, rather than go and activate time portals, is to... Well, see, there's a Game Boy shop, so we don't really care about that, but... Right around here, I believe. Maybe this guy? Yeah. So right here, there's a male man. If I don't know if you got the poke clock, this will work. So if we show him the poke clock, then he will go and give us some stationery. Okay, so we got stationary. Who will you write to? Well, we're not really going to use it to write with. But for right now, we should go over here. And going past here in Valena Village, at least this very small house. This house was the bird's hut in the future. But now in the past, it's something different. There's a hand that comes out of the hole. So he wants paper. So now if we give him the stationary, then that's paper. Oh, God. So we just got a bag of poop. Brilliant. Whatever. I'll just take it. Ugh. How is this working for Link? I think like Link now has to smell this for the next two chapters. Have fun, Link. Whatever. So now let's go back to the forest in the past. Which once again also is guarded by rocks. So I guess also you can go and check out these bushes. There's stuff, there's not that much stuff in here, whatever. And over here, also the holes. You can actually knock out into the coal. You can knock enemies into holes, which is actually really cool in this game. Pretty much just insta-murder. My husband works for the Black Tower. Okay, so I guess I'm back. I actually cut that the last part because I went the wrong place. But whatever. Alright, so yay, bombs. So, right here, actually. We can't get it here unless we get the bombs. Yeah. It'll actually give you a different sound. Rather interesting. Bruce is a tree which bears special seeds, and only if you get those seeds, then you're pretty much, and that's the only way to actually get stuff. But I need to go and darn it, I, I want to go and, eh, meh. I think I missed the heart container. It's somewhere. Maybe that's where the heart container is. And the rock went inside the thing. And this is completely the wrong place. Whatever. At least there's stuff, there's stuff here, at least. So right here are these enemies, which are, I don't know, they're, they're literally are annoying. They're the most annoying things ever. You can't damage them at all. The only way to actually do stuff with them is pretty much just to knock them into a pit. Which is why there always is a pit whenever you go here, you gotta scash a seed, there we go. So yeah, right here, back in the staircase, and I believe I completely missed the heart piece. Whatever, we'll get on the way. We'll, we'll go back here and get it. Whatever, right there. That's exactly where we want to go, I think. I believe that's where we want to go. 
So right here, there's not that much right here. But I believe but burning down this tree, and this tree only will reveal a secret staircase. And then this is where we get the heart piece, I think. Yeah, this is where the heart piece is. There we go. So now we got a piece of heart. And now we got four of them, so we actually now got a fifth heart. So yeah, actually right there is where I went. And it will actually lead into this lower path. There's nothing special here. No chests or anything. Not much of any secrets. That's why I cut it out. Pretty much going around here. Don't don't burn down the bush, but actually right here, business shrub. You don't want to buy from this guy, actually. But I believe there's a guy up here. Yeah, you want to burn down this tree, actually. And then over here will be a business shrub. Who will give you a shield for 30 rupees. Oh, God. Meh. Whatever, let's see. So actually, we can't go around from here. Actually, we can't go there. That way, that won't work at all. So we actually have to go and take this route. And it literally just leads to another place. Which is extremely convenient. Okay, so right there. Open this rock. Right here is 30 rupees. But that's not where we were after. We're gonna go over here. Or they're actually... Yeah, actually, let's see. Eh. These guys are annoying. They should die in... There, you can die too. So we end up over here, exactly. I have no idea where we are now. Oh yeah, god, I should have waited. Meh. Could have gotten a shield for a lot less money, but I completely missed it, by the way. That's brilliant. Okay, so actually we're supposed to go over down here. You want to actually go down here. And that's an enemy. Ow. And now I'm going to die. Thank you, heart. This game actually has fourths of hearts. Which is actually really generous. One of the most overly generous things. But there we go. Finally, we got the seeds. There! The mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Brilliant. Hmm, I wonder what this owl statue will possibly do. Now when we go and talk to him. You don't forget to feed me mystery seeds. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you have to feed him mystery seeds to go and make him tell you that, then meh. I'm gonna go back through this ridiculous dungeon area, mini dungeon. Oh wait, no, it's not gonna help. Yeah, that is a cheap move. Of course, nothing to help me out. I wish that there's a heart. There we go, one heart. One heart will do. That's just where I want to go. Maybe another heart. There we go. Yeah, I've been lagging a little bit. I've been slacking off a lot. But whatever, we got the bombs. And then the next part, we get to head towards the... F finally, we get to head towards the second dungeon. But I guess we should finish up this part. So yay, Queen Ambi. So this knight's gonna go and lead us towards Queen Ambi. So yay. So... We finally get mystery seeds. So it takes all our mystery seeds, but we can always get them back. We'll get them back from random grass, which is my question is why then they just simply look in the grass for mystery seeds, but whatever. So as a reward, we get bombs. Yes, bombs. Which is awesome, actually. It's really awesome. Bombs. So right here, there we go. 
And now Queen Anne B says, Will that boy ever be able to return? I don't know. And there's Nero. I'm just gonna skip through all of that. Literally all she said was pretty much, You're you are too gullible. But whatever, we got Miss Reese's for ourselves. So that's awesome. I didn't do it for you, I did it for me. And they get free bombs. Free bombs are always good. Uh, so we are closer to Age of Shadow. And then when the Black Tower reaches the heavens, then something bad will happen. Definitely. Right, so now we're, we have to go, and it's time to actually go to the next dungeon. But that, we'll wait for the next part. See you in part two. I mean, part five. So, bye bye.